Hi guys, today is Cinco de Mayo, which means it's time for our Cinco de Mayo update or finale. I started this project two months ago, exactly on March 5th. I really wanted to do an update on April 5th. I actually marked all of my products and filmed the update, but I just ended up not having the time to edit it. And then by the time I had time, it was too late. I just didn't upload it. So today is going to be the only update and the finale. But if you want to see more similar videos from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification button anyways. And now let's get started. So I picked five products in this project to work on and they're all makeup products. I was able to finish two. Not exactly what I hoped for. I was hoping I can finish more, but I guess it is what it is. Two is better than none and I was definitely disappointed at my progress. But regardless, let me start with the project products I was able to finish. So the first one here is a lip gloss from Buxom. This one is in the color Dolly. So you can see this one is basically all gone. I had this tube only about half full anyways at the beginning. I used it a little bit last time. I decided, you know what, I should really push this through because it's not supposed to be hard. I was, you know, just distracted not using it. So I am glad that this one is all gone now. The second product I was able to finish is my blush from Ofra. So this one is a kind of peachy colored blush. I had a really big size pan when I started the project. I expanded the pan quite a bit last month, but it was just so incredibly difficult to use it because, you know, the product was just on the outer skirt. It was just too hard. So I repressed it and after I repressed it, it lasted me not even two weeks. It was just gone really fast. So I'm happy I got a blush out of the way. Now let's look at the three products I was not able to finish and I am honestly not even close to finishing them. So the first one is a foundation. This one is from ColourPop No Filter Foundation. The color is Light 70. It's what I have on my face now. The coverage and, you know, the foundation itself is okay. It's a little bit deeper for me right now, but as we go into summer, hopefully this will match me better. Let me show you my progress so you can see that's where I started last update and this update. So I slowed down this month a little bit, but that's all right. I mean, I would just keep using it. It's not that big of a deal. But my biggest issue with it is that at this point, even though it still has about like a third of the whole bottle left, it was not coming out smoothly anymore. I always put this bottle on my vanity just like this. You know, I never tip it over or anything. And when I pump the pump, it's just not coming out or it would shoot out everywhere. And it would splash onto my clothes and like my counter, like everything. It's just so messy. I hate that about it. So I probably have to like twist it open and pour it out on my sponge. <sighs> Just so annoying. I wish the packaging is a little better. I also have a setting spray from MAC. So this one is just the good old Fix Plus setting spray. And I started up here. You can see the marks. And then that's my last update. This is my uh, current state and I am not even close to being finished with this bottle but you know what this is my last setting spray in my collection so I'm really not in a rush to finish it. it it is what it is it's fine if I know I have to wear makeup and a mask for the majority of the day I would definitely use this because it does help a little bit um I see less rub off on my mask at the end of the day if that makes sense like it helps the makeup to stay on my face a little better rather than just getting onto my mask. So that's what I mainly used it for. And I think I will continue to use it for that purpose. The last one I have in this project is a lipstick. So this one is from the Jolie Rouge uh, line from Clarence and this color is called Lychee. It is what I have on my lips right now. I really enjoy this color. It provides a nice color. But at the same time, it's still a little bit neutral, not too out there loud. So I really enjoy it. And the reason why I wanted to pan it is because my daughter dug into it and then she made the bullet look just really ugly, you know? So I wanted to at least pass the messed up part of the bullet. So 
you can see some progress lines. Um, that's uh, this is hard to show because it's so reflective, but you can see that's where I started and that's my last update. This time I didn't even mark it because it's just really not. I could mark it, but it would just become a thick line. You know, like there's not enough progress to mark. I can show you, you see like it's it's barely moved down any bit because I was focusing more on my lip gloss. I wanted like if I had to choose one, I would rather finish the lip gloss than like using this a little more because I know I couldn't finish it anyways. I chose to, you know, proactively working on the um, lip gloss instead. So that's just that but I think this this color I do like it it's pretty easy to use I can just toss it on for any occasion basically so I will continue to use it this spring and summer hopefully I'm hoping I can finish this by fall but who knows makeup usage nowadays is just a mystery to me like I'm not even gonna be stressed about it so that's just that. I finished this lipstick about halfway, so I'm happy with that. But that's basically the project, the my kind of failed uh, finished five by Cinco de Mayo project. I am honestly disappointed at my project uh, panning journey this last year. I mean, makeup usage is definitely a big thing. But at the same time, I haven't bought any makeup for at least a year now possibly even going on two years i can't i don't i honestly don't remember the last product i bought so you know in a way i think i'm kind of falling out of this makeup purchasing addiction and you know my stash doesn't overwhelm me as much as it used to so in a way i am losing momentum to panning because you know, it, I know this is probably not for everyone, but for me, when I pan products, it kind of gives me a sense of like victory or I am conquering my makeup stash. Um, it's almost like my makeup stash is my enemy, like I need to control it, right? But then now, because it's so well controlled, it almost doesn't make sense for me to pan anymore. I don't know. I am, I'm trying to reflect on this, but I can't really quite put my fingers on the reasons or lack of motivation, lack of progress. I mean, it's probably a combination of a lot of reasons and it's probably different for everyone too. I really don't know. I, you know, I still like my Panda palette and pan those eyeshadows projects. I don't know why. But the other makeup project pans like this one, I was just not motivated. So I don't know. I think I would probably pause project pans like this for a little bit. Like I mentioned, I would still do my pan those eyeshadows and pan that palette because they do still interest me. Um, and I'm doing a project polish, which is rather interesting, actually. So, but... I don't know. I'm just going to go with my heart. When I feel like doing another project, I would. But for now, I think I would take a short pause. Let me know how you feel about project panning, especially this past year, because I noticed a lot of panners kind of just dropped off. Let me know how you feel about it overall. I just, yeah, I'm on this like self-discovery journey now, I guess. But that will be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.